1970, the year that France's modern feminist movement was born. Through the founding of certain groups like the MLF, women began staging mass protests, opposing traditional gender roles and coining a new term. We started using the word sexism to refer to the way men deliberately insult women, saying things like, my old lady, or she's a bitch, like all women, hysterical, like all women. There's no excuse for it. The feminist movement was not embraced by all of French society, its critics claiming it was anti-men. People always say that MLF is anti-men. It's not true. We're just pro-women. Nearly half of women live with men anyway, so that claim is baseless. The movement later gained momentum to include protests against sexual violence and rape, which in the 1970s were not yet punishable crimes. In this file footage, men are asked why they think women are raped. Because they want it, women can consent to being raped. Technically, rape doesn't exist. In 1976, one trial made national headlines. A man who'd picked up a female hitchhiker and raped her saw his sentence reduced on appeal. Men are what they are. One must avoid tempting them, if I can use that expression, and then backtracking by changing one's mind. Rape trials galvanized women's rights protesters, often bringing them to the courthouse steps. We want rapists to be tried in criminal courts and we want to publicize their cases. We believe that it's one thing for a man to be a rapist, but it's another for his neighbors and co-workers to know about it, for it to be in the paper. Bad publicity can be a deterrent. Halimi succeeded in bringing three rapists to trial for the rape of two Belgian tourists. In a landmark 1978 ruling, the men were sentenced to between four and six years in prison. This set the stage for a crucial change to French law in 1980, when rape became a punishable crime. Fast forward to the 90s, when the issue of sexual harassment in the workplace took centre stage. He said, I'll only hire you if you get naked in front of me. I refused several times, and he said, you should have done it. One time I was looking through a filing cabinet, and when I turned around, he'd unzipped his trousers. I was very angry. Behaviour that was finally punishable by law in 1992, when sexual harassment became a criminal offence. Legislation that laid the foundations for initiatives in the years to come to promote equality both in the workplace and in public life.